So for today, we're going to be going through the Iron Companion armor set. If you guys don't know, Iron Banner is going up and the armor is actually super dope. Uh, just be aware that the armor drops are, I'm assuming they're kind of like really low because the Hunter and Titan and Warlock for me actually took me a long time to get the helmets. Uh, I got really lucky for the Titan, but the Hunter and Warlock, specifically the Warlock, took me like a full day to get all of the armor set. And the Hunter wasn't as bad, but it was still longer than I would have liked. So just be aware that this this might be rough. This might be a rough grind. For those of you who got lucky, uh, congratulations. I also hate you. But if this is your first video. If you guys haven't seen my hardened basilisk set, I'll have it up right now. This is generally what we're going to be doing in the video. We're going to be reviewing the armor. We're going to be going through the shaders and overall my thoughts on the armor set itself. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe really does help. I really do appreciate it. But other than that, let's get into it. So the Iron Companion armor set is probably one of my more favorite sets from all of Destiny. Uh, I do have other favorites as well, but for me, Iron Companion is like right up there. I still have it in Destiny 1. Like my Hunter still has all of that on. I think my Warlock and my Titan don't have any of it just because at that time I was, I did have other classes, but I heavily played that Hunter more than everything else. So my Hunter is the only one that has that Iron Banner set. I think maybe the Titan has maybe one or two pieces and the Hunt Warlock as well. But for me, I was more of a Hunter main back then, more than I am now, I should say. So for the armor, let's actually look at from the from the top down. The helmets, I think, are super dope. I think the helmet for the Hunters is probably the weakest one from all of them because the helmet for the Warlock looks amazing. Very fucking like King Arthur Camelot feel. Same thing with the with the Titans. I think the Titan gives off that feeling even more. And overall, these are some of the best helmets in the game. Hunter's not saying it's bad. It's just for me, I, Brad, I, I much prefer the Camelot one, which if you guys don't know, that's the PlayStation exclusive Iron Banner armor from Destiny 1. I'll have a picture up right now of like all the, the cool uh, armor sets because I should say armor pieces because there's only three specifically the helmet the arms and the class item were all different and for the hunters it was super cool because we had chain mail which is i don't want to get too into it because it's not in the game but bungie i would love it if you guys brought that back but for the warlock helmet in particular just be aware that the helmet is really big so this might be a problem more for the female warlock than the male warlock but male warlocks let me know if this is a problem for you guys as well uh, the helmet is actually a lot bigger than most of the chest pieces you'll use. Even on this one, to a certain extent, it is a little bigger than the actual chest piece. So you're going to want to combine like really bulky chest pieces with the helmet. So that way it doesn't look like you have a big ass head on small body. So that's like the only negative I can say, say about the Warlock helmet. Other than that, I think all the helmets are really good. The chest piece, I think the only one that's kind of like whatever is going to be the Titans. I think it's okay. The Warlocks, I think this is amazing. Super, super dope. I think it's just, when I think of Iron Banner Warlock, I think of this chest piece. Same thing with the Hunters. When I think of an Iron Banner chest piece for a Hunter, this one's the first one that comes up. Just because the two the two knives on the sides, the necklace of, it just, it all looks super dope. These are probably some of the coolest chest pieces in the games. Uh, the boots, Warlocks definitely have the more boring boots in the game. The Hunters, I think, is super cool, and the Titans is asymmetrical, but I really, really do like it as well. And for the class item, this is where it gets interesting. The Hunters has the best class item. You can't even fight me on this. We literally have a wolf head on our cloak. It's just super dope. For the Titans, I think it's super boring. And then for the Warlock, I think it's much better than the, than the Titans. It glows really well, and it's just... I can't really explain it. It just glows really well. So for me personally, I think my favorite pieces from this whole set is going to be the cloak and the chest piece for the hunters. I didn't even talk about the arms, actually. The arms, um, surprisingly enough, I think the warlocks have a really cool arm, which is really weird because I never really say that for any of the warlocks arms. I do think the arms for the hunters is super dope as well, but I do think the arms for the titans also super dope. I think the arms overall are like even i think they're all really good in their own way but if i had to say which one wins and which one loses i would have to say uh the i would probably say the titan one loses just because there it, it is asymmetrical and not in a good spot if you guys see the right 
uh, elbow. You guys will see like a little horn. The left side does not have that, while the hunter's is asymmetrical as well. But one side has like this really cool like iron piece at the top and also has knives at that same spot. It just looks a little bit cooler than just one side has a horn and the other one doesn't, which is really weird. But overall, this armor is super dope. I highly recommend you guys get this, especially before this armory set goes away, which is probably within a year, unless Bungie gives us a new armor set in Lightfall, which would be super dope because I want more armor. But even if that is the case, they did say that they're gonna be bringing a way to get like legacy armor back so if by some weird chance this armor set's gone and you're watching this video the legacy armor thing should be working in in iron banner hopefully fingers crossed so as for how it shaders this is where it gets interesting because i'm not going to be using abyssinian gold i'm going to be using iron to steel to showcase the off colors which let's get into that one first and then we'll get into echoed anger so when it comes to the off colors of iron to steel, the main points are going to be the pants and the cloak, specifically the scarf on the hunters. The Titans actually have the scarf on the neck. They also have some on the actual mark itself within the uh, insignia and actually in the calves inside of that cloth armor. So there is quite a bit on the titans but it's not so much that it's annoying considering that the mark i'm never going to use the boots it's literally right under the armor so there's plate armor on top of that so most of the time you won't notice it unless the under color is very noticeable and that's pretty much it actually the warlocks only have it on the collar on the chest piece but do be aware that the arms actually have a very different color i've never seen this color on iron to steel it's almost like a blue green color so that actually does change in a really weird color uh another thing to note is the actual tree insignia on the chest piece for the warlock does change color but it also doesn't so it the main focus will always be white if they, like depending on the shader it will always try to maintain that white although there is other shaders that do change it hopefully i have a video right now showcasing it because i did go through a lot of shaders to see if it was white or it did change color and it does change color to the, depending on what shader you use but i've yet to find a shader that actually just turns it all black or takes it out completely so be aware that you're gonna have to go around or you're gonna have to work around the tree insignia but overall i think this shader is super dope on this Iron Banner armor. It's so good. It's just unfortunate for the hunters taking the pants of that off color is just not good. Same thing with the cloak. But to be fair, I wasn't going to use either of those two with this shader. It was mostly going to be the chest piece or the arms. I think those two fit much better and the helmet as well. As for the warlocks, I definitely think the helmet probably takes looks the best with this shader but it's very unfortunate that the collar does have that off color titans i probably would never use this shader with the chest piece just because i would probably use the helmet because the helmet looks terrifying bro like actually terrifying it looks amazing echoed anger this is where it gets weird because the off color for for echoed anger specifically for cloth if i remember correctly was white if i remember correctly and it's taking red instead for the pants. So at this point, I'm just like, I don't fucking know anymore. So at this point, at this point, it probably just takes off colors or it probably has some some way to determine which shader it's going to be. Either way, you just just be smart. And I don't, I don't know what to tell you. It's fucking annoying. The really weird thing, too. I've never really seen this, but the chest piece, the necklace is actually white. The string is white, but then the like the necklace piece like the metal pieces are actually like a very very thin blue and i'm talking like very like you have to actually look like look at it to notice the hint of blue which is so fucking weird because it should be that like very dark steel blue but i mean here we are for the under of the under armor of the chest piece it's going to be white as well which is very unfortunate there is white on the arms as well for the uh, bandage for holding the knife and yeah the Echo Anger on the on the Hunter specifically just does not look good. I'm not liking a lot of it. Aside from the helmet, the helmet's really good, but I don't know, it's too much happening. For the Warlocks, it's very unfortunate that not only do you guys have white in the middle of your chest piece, 
but then the sides has that brown off color that the the echo ranger has which i i fucking hate that off color uh but then the sides are super red so it's like i will never wear echo ranger with this chest piece as well just because it looks terrible the boots also have a big portion of it that's just white which is kind of unfortunate as well the arms also does have a hint of white in there as well and then the helmet i think is probably the best piece from the whole set but i do think there is some white in there as well titans i think looks fine i definitely like the boots the boots is pretty cool because the way it's shadering is there's off colors in there there's so many colors in this in these boots you guys can see the left leg has this white piece and then the actual underpants is just red but then when you go to the next leg you guys will see that the plate is red but then the under armor of that is blue steel and then the boots is red or white and then the plate armor on that is red so it's just so much things happening that's kind of i don't know you're gonna have to find a shader that just kind of either combines everything into one shader that you want to just have or at that point just kind of bite the pillow and be annoyed with it like i will uh, arms there's a little bit of white in there as well chest piece there's also a little bit of white in there but I, to be fair the chest piece it's probably my least concerned one from this whole set and unfortunately the helmet as cool as it looks i don't like the red fur on top of the red helmet and then blue steel i would have much preferred if the fur on the top was another color so that way it wouldn't be just so much red but yeah that's pretty much it let me know what you guys think in the comments below are you guys gonna be rocking this are you guys gonna be grinding for this let me know in the comments below this was rough i'm not gonna lie to you guys this was probably one of the more annoying uh grinds i've had to do in a while because the game mode i actually really like it i will be making a video and giving my thoughts on it because i actually do like it it's just that when you do it constantly for like three days straight and you start seeing stupid people play that's when it gets really annoying also i didn't mention this but from what i've noticed the chess piece for the warlock specifically the tree design actually does change color at least from what i've noticed if it doesn't then disregard what i'm saying but if it does change color that's really cool if it doesn't change color then that's tough titties but other than that be safe and i'll see you guys later